SMT Nation, we back. Nation, huge Verizon network update. Just when I thought, like, <laughs> they had enough of upgrading their network, they simply are not done. Uh, what they are doing in Cleveland is absolutely incredible. Uh, they are accelerating their small cell build. And what I find most incredible about this is the fact that Verizon has the most cell tower sites in the county right in Cuyahoga County in the Cleveland area uh, and, and that makes sense they have the highest market share and it's not really close 49 plus percent of the postpaid market share they're also a big shareholder because of prepaid and track phone you know so this is a major market PA for them and they've always had the most redundant network the most reliable network here AT&T is no slouch T-Mobile has made huge strides right but I mean these are just the facts here with respect to the networking dynamics but what they're doing right now is crazy let me tell you guys what they're doing i want to show you some pictures and explain uh you know what these small cells look like how they work i know a lot of you have always asked you know which carrier is this they share pictures with me on twitter x all the time i want to show you guys what small cells look like from these carriers what to look for and then hopefully you can learn you know and you don't have to ask me all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm a teacher through and through. I like to teach, so let me teach. All right. And and hopefully you guys pick up something along the way here. All right. Um, follow me on Twitter, X, you know, uh, Elon and such. I'll, I'll have a link for my Twitter handle, X handle. Excuse me. I keep saying that. X handle will be in the description. Okay. So picture here. Uh, this location is North Olmstead Westlake border. I, I don't. Think it's North Olmsted. I think it's in Westlake. I'm like 99.9% .9 positive. And the reason why I say that is because there is even a marking on it that says it's going to a hub, fiber hub in Westlake. It's like downtown Westlake or something it says on it. I'll show you guys a picture. But here's the site the LTE radios, antennas, 5G LTE radios and antennas are present on the site. You guys see that the fiber. And the utilities, right? The power cables that run along these power lines and um, these poles. It's easy to get access to fiber. The only thing that isn't done yet on the site is the power. I'm going to show you guys a picture of this. But um, let me give you guys some detail here. Uh, here's a view. Uh, this little box thingy here at the bottom, that's where all the radios are. And they sit in there, you know, tucked away, safe and out of harm's way. Separate from the antennas which are at the top, and you'll see all the cabling that goes up to the antennas. All right, so I want to show you guys that. Okay, so here's a close-up view of the radio box. So in there, you're going to have all the 5G and LT radios. Uh, let me see here if I can get you guys. And I think I, if, if I could zoom in here for you guys, um, it, sh it should say the location. You'll see it says Westlake Downtown 14. So that tells you kind of where this is going back to with respect to the the fiber hub I'm assuming all right so here are some of those connections you see the rate cap box uh, you'll see the fiber cables that are connected there uh, going up to and from uh, their destination there and then here's kind of a view of that rate cap box with the fiber and then the power box at the bottom and to show you guys that the site's not done it just needs power right the plumbing for the fiber and all that everything's cool uh, this is it. You, you see that little piece of cardboard in there? They're just waiting for power. That's it. Uh, the site was constructed in a day. You know, like these small cells are super easy to build for Verizon. I'm assuming they're doing all the work themselves. I don't know unless Crown Castle is doing it for them. But Verizon owns this pole. It, or it was renting. I don't know how it works. I think I think Verizon's right. This pole was already here. Pre-existing infrastructure. The city of Westlake approves everything for Verizon. They have small cells everywhere. Uh, which calls back to the reason I made the video. Verizon already had like a dozen small cells in Westlake. In the last six months, they have built what seems like another half a dozen. And they have upgraded all the macros in the city already with CBRS and C-Band. This small cell in this particular location, which I think is on, it's like right on the corner of Delwood. It's it, like I said, it's on Dover Center Road between Rose, Rose Road and Lorraine. 
closer to Rose, and it absolutely fixes a problem. Uh, by the way, I called about this area to, to Verizon Customer Care and complained because the coverage here was kind of spotty. Uh, basically, you were getting band 13 only here, and it was weak. Therefore, it's congested on a weak signal. So I called and complained, and literally Verizon told me that everything was perfect and just fine, and nothing was wrong with it. Bullshit, Verizon. But thank you for fixing the problem. Thank you for taking my advice, identifying the problem, and engineers putting it into the budget, fixing the coverage gap. So they have a small cell on Center Ridge and Dover, and then they have a macro and some millimeter wave stuff that's happening closer to Lorraine Road. This fixes the issue. I'm so excited, guys. I mean, even when I used to do like video calls like with my wife and stuff, I mean, she had problems in this in this little stretch of I'd say it's about a mile. Like half a mile is is ab absolutely a problem for about a half a mile. Uh it just unreliable because of it. Now, calling sometimes would be okay, but like video call no way. Data <laughs> no way. It was like one of the few areas where Verizon really struggles and they fixed it. I just I can't wait for this to go live. Fantastic. Thank you. Verizon for fixing this coverage gap. See, before when the Verizon network was only for calling and texting, you know, before the data days, this wouldn't have been an issue. You 2G and 3G get all this power, you're only calling and texting. But with data demands, like, this had to be done. I don't know what took them so long. I freaking called them about this years ago. They finally took my advice and did it. So bravo to them to finally listening. Uh, thank you, Verizon engineers. And uh, nice job. Perfect placement. Absolutely perfect placement i can't tell you guys they put it smack dab in the dead spot it's going to fix about a third of a mile i mean each way it's going to address this issue it's going to fix the primrose estates neighborhood it's going to fix delwood it's going to fix the north olmstead side it's going to fix the westlake side of dover absolutely wonderful i'm so thrilled about this ah oh, man so this is this is great i've got more videos on these Verizon small cells and they are on totally different terms not even all of them are specifically for coverage issues this one was a coverage issue I've got more coming and some of them are not coverage related they are just creating capacity and one of them I believe is creating a home internet opportunity I can't wait to make those videos for you guys here stay tuned keep it locked for more content from the SMT as I kind of share some of my findings in my in my wonderful cleveland market uh top 14 paa or whatever it is they're doing great things here i gotta give them props i gotta give verizon their props i always do when carriers do something right give them their props when at&t does it when t-mobile does it we give them their due what are you guys seeing from verizon are they active in your area with small cells are they upgrading the network talk to me in the comment section below you all the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard